Hi everybody, welcome. I am Dina with Lularo Dina Forsma, and today we're going to talk about sizing and styling of the wonderful Julia dress. So as you can see, the Julia is a very form-fitting, um, very flattering for the figure. Uh, it has sleeves down to the elbows, it has a scoop neck, um, and it does form to the curves. So it is made for women with curves, so ladies, accentuate those curves and love your curves. They run very true to size. They go from extra, extra small to 3XL. And um, the small, which is what I'm currently wearing, fits like um, a 6'8". They run very true to size. So if you're right at that 8 and you don't like um, the clinginess to them, I always recommend sizing up one. And I will show you why. There are so many wonderful things you can do with sizing up with the Julia. That is one you can definitely, the size is unlimited when it comes to going up because you can do so many um, great things with packing the Julia. So I'm wearing a small, I feel comfortable in this particular one. It does have really good stretch to it as you can see. So that does change things. Um, the wonderful thing about Julia's is they come in different varieties. They come in solids, they come in prints, and they come with printed sleeves and a solid body. So the one thing that women are afraid of is trying a bold print, such as what I'm wearing. Guys, tr prints hide um, what we would call our imperfections, like what we dwell on our bodies. For example, mine is my mom belly. I have a two-year-old. I have the mom belly. Um, it, it happens. We have skin. We have, you know, we're women. You know, fat sits around our stomach. That's normal. Our thighs, our hips, wherever it may be. Um, prints hide those areas, whereas solids snug to those areas. Um, prints help hide that. So I feel very comfortable in what I'm currently wearing. This is something I would definitely be okay, like, going to the store in, um, running errands to the post office, going to church, whatever it may be. Um, and I'm going to show you a few more ways to style the Julia. So I will be right back. So I'm back and what I've done is I've turned the Julia into a shirt. I've paired it with some denim and then I threw a beautiful lace kimono over it. So the fun thing with the Julia is it can also be worn as a top, which is one of my personal favorite ways of wearing it. Um, excuse, my son is playing with my dog in the background. So he's crying because the dog took the dog toy as they're supposed to do. So um, this is a super easy way to hack the Julia. This is how I wear most of mine. It turns it into a, into a tunic top. So if you're not a dress person, but you found your unicorn print and it's a Julia, buy it guys. It is so beautiful wearing it like this with or without the kimono. So let me just slip this off and I will show you how to hack um, the Julia into a shirt. So right now I have it into the shirt. I'm just going to unhack it so I can show you step by step. So this can be done obviously with denim or leggings. Um, I just like to do it with denim because I can show you guys LuLaRoe and denim goes great together. So um, you have your dress. I like to wear mine like a little lower than my hip line. I like my tops long. So you pinch it at your hip line or wherever you want to um, hack it to. Okay, so I have it pinched right there. I pull it up. Okay, so my the bottom of my, my shirt is right where I want it. And then I pull the extra fabric that I was holding down to cover where it's at at the hip line. So you've um, just folded the fabric over itself. Okay, I want that up a little higher. So I just do that, fold it down, and there you go. You just hacked a dress into a shirt. So there's a second way to wear the Julia. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So I'm actually going to put on the next size up. I'm going to go put on a medium Julia and show you the difference of the fittings. Hi guys. So this is a medium Julia. Once again, this is fitted for like um, a size eight range. And you can see the difference in how it looks in the torso, how it looks in the hips, um, since this is a solid body and it has that printed sleeve. So this would be a great one to do the t-shirt hack with. But the other hack I'm going to do is a layering hack. Um, I have a couple different layers that I'm going to show you. The first one is going to be a t-shirt. So I got three pieces. You can make so many different outfits with, okay? So first off with the t-shirt, um, I like to size up when I'm doing this. So I am typically an extra small classic. This is a large. I'm gonna put it on backwards, okay? Because it changes your neckline. You take your sleeves. If you don't want, if the um, sleeves correlate with one another, you can leave them sticking out. It just adds a little extra flair. 
I like to fold mine up just a little bit there. Pull your t-shirt sleeve back down. That'll change when I tie it. Do the same thing on this side. Fold it up there. Pull this back down, okay? And then I take the t-shirt. You can do this with Irma's, Classics, um, whatever your preference is. I take it right under my bust because I kind of like it um, like that tight, tight look on there. Roll it and knot it. And so then I have that cute little knot there and you can adjust your neckline as is. So that gives you a totally different look in regards to layering a t-shirt over your Julia. You can um, change the level of your layer. You can do a low, a low knot instead of the high bust knot, like that. Um, just adds a different flair, kind of makes it look like you're wearing a two-piece rather than just a dress and a t-shirt. The last look for layering is with a Cassie skirt. And if you guys haven't seen my Cassie skirt video, go find it. Um, there's so many different things you can also do with a Cassie. So one of the things I like to do is layering a Julia with a Cassie. And you can do it without having to do a whole lot of work. So you just simply put the Cassie over the Julia. I'm wearing, this is a small Cassie. Um, you can size accordingly, you know, to whatever matches, fits, um, whatever it may be. So I have the cat, the Cassie is the pencil skirt, have it pulled up to my torso here, and then I just kind of blouse the Julia, and then that makes um, a two-piece as well, like it splits up your Julia. So there's a handful of ways to style the Julia. Like I said, it's a form-fitting dress, so you can make it so it's not so form-fitting. So the last one I'm gonna show you is I'm going to size up to a 2XL Julia, and I'm gonna show you how to belt it and blouse it and make it fit you. Like I said, shop print, not size. I will be right back. Hi guys, so I'm back, and I'm actually wearing a 2X Julia. Um, just one of the many ways you can style this. So the 2X Julias are going to be loose. Obviously, um, if you're a size 6 and you're wearing a 2X, um, it is going to fit a little differently. So not everybody will be able to do this hack. So um, with it being loose around the neck, all I simply did was pull my arm through and um, I tucked this arm into the sleeve. So it looks like there's like a little pouch there, um, which is actually how a lot of dresses are styled. So you can wear it as a single arm, you can roll this arm up and make it a shorter sleeve, um, whatever it may be. And then I just have it belted around my waist so it adds that extra little um, tightness to it. So, to bring it back, pull your arm back through. I have it belted still. I blouse the top so then it makes it loose around the top. It still accentuates around my waist. Um, it's super loose around my hips, not snug or tight forming or anything like that. And then I can simply put a kimono over it. And I have a whole other outfit. So there's a belted Julia with a kimono. Um, another thing you can do instead of belting a Julia is you can knot it. If you're familiar with the different kinds of knots LuLaRoe has to offer, um, all the consultants and stylists, there's so many different ways that you can knot it and so many different places to change it. So one of the ones I like to do is knotting it in the back. That pulls it a little snugger around the torso. Um, you can also do a knot up front right by the hip so that adds a little starburst effect to there. And then um, if you like just hanging it loose, there you go. And then there's just a looser dress with that kimono over it. So that is a 2X Julia with the Monroe. I hope you guys learned something from this. Um, once again, shop print, not size. There's so many things you can do with making the print fit you, even if it is a larger size. So don't be afraid to try bigger sizes. They are there for a reason. Um, anybody, any size can try those things. So if you have any questions, please find me on Facebook, Lularodina Borsma. 
Um, I'm there, I'm available, I'm always willing to answer questions. Um, I love meeting new people. So follow me on Facebook. You can also find me on Instagram and Pinterest. And I do um, send out tweet alerts for all my live sales. So I do live sales, album sales, all kinds of stuff. So I hope to meet you. Um, come find me and shop with me. I'll see everybody later.